Hello guys, have you ever seen SAP, Excel, Dot and Beams? Uh, your answer may be yes or no. If your answer is yes, yes, then it's well. If your answer is no, then please watch the video till the end. You'll get a brief knowledge about SAP, Excel, Dot and Beam. So happy learning. Oh, well, so first of all, discuss about SAP. Uh, basically, SAP is a rotating member, usually of circular cross section, used to transmit power, motion, uh, and it provides axis of the rotation or oscillation. Of elements such as gears, pulleys, flywheels, cranks, sprockets, the different types of things which is used supports the different types of elements uh, and provides the axis of the rotation and the, like the other controls the geometry of the motion. All right. So basically, steps is a two types: one is transmission step and two is machine step. I'll talk in, ne in my next video about transmission step and machine steps. Well, and now have you ever listened to the time exam? Yeah, you answer is yes. So let's talking about it and next is a non rotating member that carries no torque and is used to support rotating wheels pulleys and the like so basically this is the function of an excel well now i'm talking about the topic rod so what is rod so rod is an element supports tension compression and excel torsion but it's not bending yeah it's not bending only tension compression and excel torsion yeah, we listen to the term connecting rod. Yeah, basically connecting rod is a type of rod which connects a piston to a crank or crankshaft in a reciprocating engine. So here is a basic demonstration of a connecting rod. And now I think you probably understand what's the difference between rod, shaft, and axle. So here's one bonus thing for you. So just begin it. Hey, and now just talking about rod and bar difference. Actually, rod is a member which is circular in cross section, but bar, bar can be any cross section like rectangular bar, square bar, and I section bar, etc. But if we're talking about beam, beam can be any cross section, either circular or any other. So, what's the main difference between bar rod and beam? Uh, basically, it is the divided upon the quality of loading. So. If I'm talking about rod and bar, basically rod and bar are subjected to axial load only. This can be either tensile or compressing, but not torsion or bending. Well, now if I'm talking about beam, and a beam can be subjected to any type of load, tension, compression, torsion, and bending. So, if you have a bar or rod subjected to tension and you added a bending moment on it, then this will no more called as bar now it's become a beam so in this topic we have learned the words are difference between sap excels rod and the basic defense of rod and beam and bow so, so guys please subscribe my channel for more updated technical things so god bless you all